Hello, this is another uh, small video in the A6300 I'm learning uh, series. Um, today I wanted to talk uh, about a product and a hack that I made. The product is working fine. It's an external battery pack using uh, the plug that you can put into your camera. It was first uh, shown to me by David Osler. Uh, an, uh, wedding photographer and it was so cheap that I kind of didn't believe it was true uh, because I've looked at this product and couldn't find it. Also the audio might be um, different now because I'm actually using what I've made yesterday or the day before so that I'm using the external audio output so the headphone output so that I can listen to myself uh, which is not needed but it seems to be smart for me to test it. But I'm also using the uh, $25 um, Sony Love microphone, which I normally don't use, but it's very cheap. And uh, I got it from Amazon a few months ago. And uh, since it's a cheap solution, um, I wanted to test it and I will also provide a link to you because I think for the money it might be uh, not too bad. So let's get started. So the product that I, um, I ordered uh, was a bigger version than the one from that David is using, and it's called the uh, On the Move, On the Move from Xpro, and I ordered it from Amazon UK. Um, and the nice thing about it that this battery solution, which is a USB battery plug with one exception compared to normal ones. Um, you can get it from about 30 pounds, inclusive the important part in this case, which is this part. So that's basically the plug that goes into your uh, camera. Either, uh, I guess any NEX camera it will work. So um, let me show you what you get in the package. So there's two versions. And uh, I will also link to David's video, which is much nicer. But I figured the more people see it, the better, right? Um, so he got a smaller one, which was about 7,000 milliamps, um, uh, milliamp hours. Uh, this is uh, much bigger, it's 16,000. So not only is the battery bigger, about 380 grams versus 200 grams, but also the capacity is a lot bigger and it comes with a bigger holder. So you actually, for the money, the smaller one was I think 27 pounds. You get uh, this part, which normally costs about eight or nine pounds. Um, you get the, the battery and you get the holder, which is quite a nice holder. You can, it's velcroed and you can hook it up again and you can uh, yeah, put it on your belt or whatever you want to do with it. Again, this is the bigger version. So the cheap version is 27 pounds for three, these three parts combined. And uh, it's a little bit smaller, of course, than this one. And um, it will probably do for about five or six battery uh, charges because it's 7,000 compared to the internal 1,000. This one is silly big because it's 16,000. So, um, so let me uh, hook it up. So this is the first video I'm also recording on the A6300 itself, at least of the demo videos, because I'm now using the A6000. I also found my kit lens back, uh, which I normally don't use, but I figured, okay, let's put it on here. So this kind of works as you expect it. You plug it in, wait until you feel it click. Then there's a small latch here, which you can open up and it holds the wire. You have to be a tiny bit careful and you close it up. Exactly the same, I think, as all uh, models uh, uh, in the NEX and the Alpha lineup, at least the 6, the 7, the 5. So this USB battery has one exception, uh, uh, something special compared to m uh, most of them, is that it also has like a power output which um, has the correct voltages to go into your camera. So there's only three ports on there. The first one is the, uh, the high voltage uh, power. I think it's 
actually supposed to be... Um, I'm trying... 8.4 volts. I have some remarks about that later, but 8.4 volts. It has three LEDs, a micro USB to charge it, and an extra spare uh, USB out that you can use to feed something else. So let's hook it up. You will notice that the lights start turning right away, which is kind of nice. I'm not sure what the button is about. Um, it seems to me automatically start booting when it uh, starts up. So, and now I can turn on just as normally, and you can indeed see that it works fine. Now, you see that it's uh, still showing uh, four uh, blue lights. Hopefully you can see that. Um, let me hold it up. So there they are. Um, this is, um, shows you how much load it has, because I've actually been using it for hours and hours already. Uh, including uh, uh, hooking up an autonomous uh, um, recorder using uh, the trick I'm going to show later. So I'm not sure when it will go down, but at some point it will. Now one thing which is a little bit weird is that uh, the battery uh, indicator on your uh, camera uh, will not show the correct value. This has been mentioned by many people before. So in this case it says 68%. It will probably go to zero and just stay there. Don't worry about it. Um, um, that's not what you need to watch. You need to watch the LEDs on your battery. So in this case this one. And you will be fine. Now you can put it into this uh, holder. And put the holder in your uh, pocket or on your belt. Um, and it should work fine. The, the length of the cable is about a meter, which first felt a little bit short to me, but now I've been using it. Uh, I did a walk yesterday, and um, I think probably for photography the smaller one is better. Um, but if you want to have the big one, I had it in my pocket and it was working fine. It's kind of interesting because uh, over the last few years I've uh, learned to always turn my camera off. Uh, but it's kind of interesting to keep it always on. Um, yeah, um, because it is quicker when you are shooting. And uh, you can probably run this all day without having any problem at all. Um, and have your batteries in your pack. Of course you will be what, having this wire going into your pocket. Um, if that's a big deal, don't use it. Otherwise, this is a perfect solution. But of course, I and many are getting it not for uh, photography, but for video. And um, that job it has been doing uh, quite nicely. I've been, uh, recorded for a few hours now. And like I said, the battery hardly goes down on the bigger model. Um, I'm guessing that with the smaller one, so the 7000 one, it will probably go for, f I would guess, five, four or five hours. This will probably go for 12, 13 hours. So uh, I think that's a great solution. Also, this uh, bottom part is quite easy to mount on your tripod or to clip it in on something like this. Um, I just uh, connected it to one of the tripod um, um, feeds and that worked fine. So this is more my camera that's going out, I'm assuming, because I still have it uh, in that mode. Now, the second thing I want to show you is a hack that I made that actually I would say almost filled because it's not working the way that I want. It tells us something about this battery. Although um, each battery that you make, of course, um, has a certain amount of voltage. So this can, one claims to be 8.4 volts. But depending how much power you drain from it, it will start dipping. So um, I really wanted to use it also on my Atomos. Because uh, the, the Atomos recorders, they have these normal Sony bigger batteries. And I kind of want to go to a solution where I only have USB blocks. As I showed you yesterday, um, I normally would have like a small bag with three or four of them in there. And it would be cool if I can also not use this anymore. Um, so I made something which I can also hook up into this same connection. 
So what I did, if you buy an Atmos, especially an, an older one, so not a bare bones one, they give you a silly amount of extra uh, tools. One of the things they gave you is, um, um, uh, which I kind of hacked up into a different thingy, is these sliders that go into the back for different batteries. Now we use Canon and um, Sony, so the Sony batteries we use the Canon batteries we use, but this was actually for Nikon. Well, um, I can promise you we won't use it. So I didn't feel guilty to um, use this converter plate from Nikon to basically Sony. So it fits in here, it slides in, and then um, you can use Nikon batteries on the Atomos. So what I did, I um, took a wire with a plug. Now these, I don't have a car, which might sound weird to people, but I don't have a car, I don't need it in Amsterdam and the places where I go. So um, I actually have a lot of these plugs on car um, um, power feeds. I'm not sure what you call them, but you normally would use for your cigarette, cigarette lighter. Um, I got many of them and most of them have this plug, which is the same size as the plug that is in here. So I hooked it up, I um, made a few holes here um, and glued this and then soldered the two connection points. I will probably put a plate on there, but then I couldn't show you. And, but you can see an easy hack. And um, this way I could actually feed the Atomos from this battery. And it worked fine, except for the problem is that the Atomos takes Oops, there was my microphone, sorry. The Atomos takes too much power to, um, to let it go, um, uh, let's say for hours and hours. The power does dip to about 6.3 to 6.4 volts, and then uh, the Atomos starts complaining and shutting off. Now, um, a solution is to put the other battery on because then it sort of uh, balances them. So it's not a total failure, but uh, after a few, I think about two hours, it stopped recording. So I'm not sure if I'm really in the reality going to use that. But I can also use this converter on my lighting, uh, bigger LED lights. So again, it's not a total failure. Um, I will probably, at least I have this converter and I have the batteries. So um, either in a pinch or um, using it on other equipment which uses these batteries. And as you probably know, these are used uh, quite a lot on different uh, occasions. I now have this converter cable that I can use on this battery. But the main goal of the f this video, of course, is to show you this battery. Um, I think it's kind of a nice uh, solution. It's very workable and it's also the cheapest I've seen so far. Uh, keep in mind, maybe that's a detail, but it's an interesting detail. So now, of course, if I plug it out, if I plug it out, if I pull it out, my camera. Oh, let me turn it on again. My camera will, of course, go off. Uh, we should not be surprised about this. In this case, even my lens is sticking out, uh, which you're not supposed to do. But um, that makes sense, right? It's losing power. But this um, device also has uh, a USB out. So you could also hook it in into the side and not use this cable, but use a normal battery. Now, that kind of defeats the purpose about getting this, but it, it does give you one advantage because it means that you are powering it over the USB while you still have your normal battery in there. And as a consequence, that means that if you lose power, um, then it will continue working because the normal battery is acting as a backup battery. Um, but then you are back to a normal USB uh, solution and this was quite nice uh, because it's using the D-Tap connector which some people feel and I'm not sure if that's true or not um, helps also with the cooling down of the A6300. The idea there is that it does not need to convert the 5 volts internally to uh, 8.4 volts again. Uh, but it, it, it generates some heat, of course, using this USB connection. Uh, but now you're using the uh, connection as they expected, and uh, some people think it will overheat uh, less uh, that way. 
So uh, this is the end of the video. Uh, again, already longer than I uh, wanted. But, um, oh well, I guess if you didn't like it, you would have stopped watching. So again, a very cheap solution, about 30 pounds for the smaller one, for the complete set. Um, and that's about, um, I would think uh, 30 pounds is about 40, 45 euros. The expensive one came to 75 uh, euros. So, um, yeah, I think it's a very good deal because I've not seen a complete solution uh, cheaper. In fact, batteries of this uh, amperage are already mostly going for about 40 or 50 bucks. So, uh, a good deal. Okay, thank you and uh, see you next time.